Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to Milan and I'm very, very excited about that. I'm going to Milan with my husband. You may have heard me mention before that he really wants to see the San Siro Stadium in Milan, which is where AC and Inter Milan both play. It's being knocked down. It's on his bucket list to see it before it's destroyed. So we're going to Milan for his birthday and we're going to squeeze in some shopping because it's, you know, it's all about him and, and he loves to visit the luxury boutiques whenever we are in different cities and I'm just trying to convince myself of that but we're going to Milan, we're going shopping and I'm very excited and what I wanted to share with you today is my Milan wish list. It's not really a wish list, it's my Milan, Milan, Milano interested list. It's the things that I really want to go and see and try and maybe purchase, not all of them, but maybe purchase some of them. And yeah, these, these are living in my brain. And the first one without a shadow of a doubt, and if you've watched any of my videos recently, this is probably gonna come as no surprise. I am dying to see the Dior Mini Lady Dior wicker bag in the pinky lilac version. And I'll put these on the screen. I'm obsessed with this bag. Am I meeting my words before I hear you shouting at the screen? Yes, I once said, <laughs> in my wisdom, that I would never buy raffia or wicker at Chanel, Dior, Louis Vuitton type prices because I live in Ireland and the weather just would not support such a purchase. And I was staying strong on that until, well, I suppose that's Chanel and it's raffia. That probably broke it, but that was pre-loved. Not cheap, but pre-loved. But this, this mini Lady Dior wicker bag in the pinky lilac -y color, obsessed, doesn't even come close to how much I am in love with that bag. I think it's fabulous. So that is top of my Dior wish list. And that probably is a wish list, interested list. I definitely want to see it. I'm obsessed with it. I want to try it. I did try it in Dublin in the mini size in the navy. And I put the pink from the Riviera collection beside it to try and see what it would look like. And they could have ordered it for me, but I knew I was going to Milan and I love to shop when I'm in a new city. I know, I, I know, I know we've talked about addiction and is it a, a, an addiction recently, but I know I love to shop in a new city and I love to have something that I've been looking for bought in that city because then it's tied to that visit in my crazy mind. But that's number one thing that I want to go and see in Milan and I'm very excited about. Second is sticking with Dior. I'm on a Dior love fest at the minute and I have talked about that. I'm obsessed with the Dior. I want to see the Dior D-Way. Slides, is that the right way to say those? I tried a pair in Dublin that were in the pinky color, shock, and loved them, but they didn't have my size. Now the size that they had was a half size up. So if anybody has these slides, would you come into the comment box and let me know if you ordered true to size or were you a half size up? Because the half size up seemed to fit, but I wanted to try my own size with them to make sure I got the right size because they are very expensive for slides. So I want to try those and I want to try them in either the pinks or the purples and the greens, the lovely colors that are out that I'm obsessed with from the Mumbai collection, absolutely stunning. I want to try them in those colors and see if there's a pair that I can get that works for me because they're really, since I saw them in Dublin, they're really, really calling my name. Still with Dior, <laughs> I know. I also really want to see the Mumbai collection Dior saddlebag. Now I, the one thing that's, kind of eating at me about this is there's a yellow saddlebag up there just off screen that you can't see and there's a burgundy saddlebag over there. So I have two of the saddlebags in the medium size. Do I need a third? No. Do we need any of this? No. But even taking need at its most flexible, should I add a third saddlebag? And I know I've got a few mini Chanel's those are easier to use than the saddlebag, in my opinion. I love the saddlebag, but it's for me, it's more handheld or on the shoulder. They're very easy to throw across your cross body. This is a bit more actually carrying it, if that makes sense, it makes sense in my mind. So do I want to add a third saddlebag in the medium size? I don't know, but I absolutely love the Mumbai collection. I'm obsessed with the pink print with the elephants and the tigers. I just love it. I love talked about this before, animals, we've been on safari. I just love it. And it's putting all of that together in my mind with my favorite colorways. I'm thinking, buy me. If they had the print that is the Dior pink saddlebag from the Mumbai collection in say a mini D-Light or a mini Dior, Lady Dior type bag, I would probably be done for. 
I just don't know if I want to buy another saddlebag and I really want to see it in person. It's the material, not leather. Definitely want to see that in person and something that I'm very, very interested in. And the last one from Dior, <laughs> actually going to leave Dior, um, is the Mini D-Light. So I always loved the D-Lights. I love because they bring out the D-Lights in the fabric and they bring them out in fabulous patterns and colours and versions. But they're the medium, they're the size of the medium Lady Dior, which doesn't work for me. It's too big. It's too big and bulky crossbody. I don't think I would use it enough to carry it handheld. I don't think the handheld look is what I'm really going for but they've now, now brought out a mini D-Light I'm done for. I am absolutely done for. They now have brought out a D-Light in pink colours which are fabulous in the mini version. So I really want to try that. That's high on my mind of things that I'm obsessing about and I really want to see the mini D-Light. Over to Louis Vuitton. I want to try the Louis Vuitton mini bum bag. I always say, eating my words, I always said I wouldn't buy a bum bag because I just wouldn't. I don't think it would work for me. I didn't think it would work around my waist. I thought I would not look like a cool and trendy person. I thought I would look pretty awful. Can't wear it across here because adding girth here, the size of the old bum bag, no, I'm curvy enough. Didn't need that. So it's a bag that never drew me at all. I was never interested in it. And then they brought out the mini version, <laughs> the mini tiny little version. And it's kind of intrigued me. I think because it's so small, worn this way, I might be able to pull it off, might. Still quite curvy, might not work, but definitely want to try it to see if it would work that way. And I want to try it as a traditional bum bag. Now, when I told my husband this, he started to laugh and he looked at me and was like, are you really talking about wearing a bum bag? Really? You're in your 40s and are you really talking about wearing it as a bum bag? Yes, husband. And one of the reasons why is I have an, an old shoulder injury. And sometimes even if I'm wearing a mini bag throughout the day, my shoulder can get very sore and it's coming from this old shoulder injury. So I was kind of thinking, and I know does it need to be Louis Vuitton and luxury level, but let's skip past that, that if we were going somewhere, for example, Milano, and we were going sightseeing, traveling, I could wear it as an actual bum bag and it wouldn't be on my shoulder and it wouldn't be sore and I could put my phone and my things in and I think this makes perfect sense. Whether or not when I try it on, is it gonna look good? Would I actually wear it like that? I don't know. This one, cause it's so small and cute, I kind of think maybe, but it's something I definitely wanna try. It's on my list, it's on my mind. It's an option, but I want to see it in person. Also with Louis Vuitton, I showed on my Dublin vlog a pair of Louis Vuitton by the pool wedges. They are the cream wedges that have, I, they're wedges. They have a height, a heel. They have the cream across the toe. They didn't have them in my size in Dublin. I really, really liked them. I thought the shape of them was really lovely. They looked really good on your foot as much as I could tell with the size not being right. I really want to try those and I also really want to try the Birkenstock type version that I saw in Dublin that also didn't have my size as a more casual sandal for summer Birkenstock type. I'm just being drawn to those at the minute and I liked, I, when I saw both of these in Dublin I loved them and I really want to see if they have them in my size so as I can try those in my Hermes. Now this is probably a bit ridiculous <laughs> but I'm going to go into Hermes and ask them about a Constance. I have been told that the Constance is no longer a wishlist bag in the UK and Ireland. I don't know if it was a wishlist bag in Milan before this change came in the UK and Ireland, but I'm going to ask. Now, I know, I know, I know I'm going to go in and ask them as a complete not a stranger to their city about a Constance in the small size and they're going to laugh and laugh and laugh. I know that, but I'm going to ask. I'm going to go in and ask them if by any chance, if by any small miracle, there is a Constance in the back in a lovely bright colour in the small size that they wouldn't mind selling me because I know it's crazy, I hear it out loud. I know it's not gonna happen. I know that even though it's not a wish list bag, you're still not gonna just walk into store and they have lots of Constance lying about, but I'm at least going to ask. And I feel very brave going in and asking that because we all know what it's like going into Hermes and asking for those Burke and Kelly Constance type bags, but I'm going to ask. I know they're going to laugh, but I'm going to ask. And the last thing on my Milano wish list, interested list, want to see list 
is the Chanel mini reissue in the yellow colour. I was in Dublin, you may have seen that vlog, and I did get to look at quite a few of the Dakar Chanel Matriarch collection bags. They had the sequenced bag, they had the one with the big wooden chain across it, the yellow version. They had the beautiful gemstone bag, which is very expensive, but it's stunning. They didn't have the yellow mini reissue whenever I was in, and I really like the look of this. I'm not sure about the shade of the yellow. I need to see it. I love the mini reissue. I have, can you see any of them? I have the, this one is a, this one is a mini reissue in the multicolor. I also have it in the Chanel graffiti, which is over there. I really like the mini reissue because of the four grommets and the chain. I think it's a really easy bag to wear and I really like the look of it in this yellow. I think it's less bright than my saddlebag so I don't think it's a complete duplication. <laughs> I'm good at convincing myself of things but I really want to try it. I don't know if the colour will be right. I don't know if it's something when I try on I think no because I don't know if I loved the colour of the yellow in the wooden one. I want to try it though, it's it's something that's intrigued me and I want to try that in Chanel and that's probably the only bag in Chanel that I want to try because I've looked at a lot of those Metriarch collection bags and at Chanel price points now they have to absolutely be grabbing me and stunning and beautiful and I'm just obsessed, it has to be that level because they're just so expensive but that's one of the bags in Chanel that I want to have a look at in Milan. Thank you for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it in any way, please do give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please do consider subscribing so as you can watch the Milan vlog, the Milan unboxing, because let's be honest, we're going to find something on this list to bring home the Milan unboxing. Hit the notification bell, you'll be told when those are coming. And if you're not done with me yet, I'm going to leave another video on the screen for you to enjoy. And if you do have any insight into the sizing on those Dior slides, would you please let me know in the comment box. If there's any of these bags or things I've talked about, you've seen and you've thought, what is she talking about? That's terrible. Let me know that in the comment box as well. And I will keep you posted on what happens in Milan and what comes home. Thank you so much for watching me. Thank you for being here. Please take care and I will see you again in the next one.